Have you ever fired a shotgun or at least witnessed someone else shooting a shotgun? Instead of one single piece of lead heading toward the target, the shotgun sends out a few dozen pellets hurtling towards the target. Even someone who isn't a particularly good shot can hit something with a shotgun. You don't have to be Annie Oakley to hit something with a shotgun. The reason I bring this up is because the shotgun approach is a good analogy for your advertising. If you try to reach your target market using a single channel or single traffic method, there's a good chance you're going to totally miss. But carefully spread your efforts out among multiple channels, and you'll find yourself reaching more deeply into your market. And that's going to mean more customers, more sales, and of course, more money. Now, just because you're using a shotgun approach doesn't mean that you don't aim. Quite the contrary, actually. Your goal, as always, is to seek out targeted traffic. That means focusing on high-quality sources of advertising. These are the places where your cash-in-hand prospects are already gathering. You just have to drop your targeted ads in front of them. Put yourself in front of the money, so to speak. So, what I'm saying is to diversify your advertising strategy as much as possible. For example, don't just depend on pay-per-click advertising. Instead, use pay-per-click, and media buys, and viral marketing, and guest blogging, and social media marketing, and, well, I'm sure you got the idea. Mix things up a bit, spread out, and reach deep. Diversifying not only helps you penetrate your market more deeply, but it also insulates you in case a particular advertising source dries up or becomes out of your reach. But another really good benefit of reaching out across multiple channels is that your target market is likely to see your advertising multiple times. And that, of course, is a good thing. One reason multiple exposures work well is because it helps build your brand and creates top-of-mind awareness in your prospects. Think about your own dating experiences for a second. I bet there was a time you saw a cute guy or gal who caught your eye from the first time you ever saw them, but you didn't pursue it. Then you saw them again, and again, and maybe you just started chatting with them a little bit. And then the next thing you know, you can't get that person off your mind. You go to bed thinking of them. You wake up thinking of them. They've got the prime top-of-mind awareness slot, okay? So maybe your prospects aren't going to exactly get obsessed with you, and maybe you won't be the first thing they think of in the morning and the last thing they think of at night, because, you know, that's a little creepy. But top-of-mind awareness means you will spring to their mind as soon as they have a certain problem, and that's totally a good thing. So why else should you get yourself in front of prospects as often as possible? Well, the second reason multiple exposures work well is because usually most people don't purchase a product on the first couple exposures. It takes an average of 7 to 12 touches before people will purchase something. You can reach out and get these touches through email, on your blog, on social media, and across multiple advertising venues. And this brings us to the topic of retargeting and why it works so well to turn prospects into customers. Retargeting, which is also called remarketing, takes multiple forms. One of the ways to use retargeting is to cookie your visitors when they come to your site. And then later, when they visit another site, they'll see your ad. And that advertisement will be based on whatever they were looking at on your site. No doubt you've seen retargeting in action. For example, you can go to Amazon right now and look at a product such as bacon-flavored toothpaste or something like that. Then go to Facebook and look at the ads showing up in the sidebar. The chances are you're not only going to see an Amazon ad, but you're very likely to see an ad for the bacon-flavored toothpaste. This is a prime example of retargeting. Think about the power of this for a moment. If someone leaves your site without buying anything and without joining your list, there's a good chance they're not coming back. You know, hasta la vista, prospect. As time goes on, the prospect's going to totally forget about you. Sad, huh? Any emotion you stirred up with your sales copy is going to be lost. Even though they thought they might come back later to purchase your product, chances are they won't. But now, imagine if you do Facebook retargeting. The prospect leaves your site empty-handed, but then later on in the day they log into Facebook, and boom, there's an ad for the product they were looking at earlier in the day. Now they have a reminder of the product. Their emotions might even get slightly stirred up again with the reminder. You've got them thinking about the product, and suddenly they're sliding their credit card out and tapping your buy buttons. And so what happens if they don't buy right away? It's not a problem, because with retargeting, they'll see your ad again tomorrow, and the day after, and maybe even the day after that. Just the way that a slow drip of water can wear down a rock over time, with multiple exposures, you can push past your prospect's defenses and get them purchasing your product using a retargeting strategy. It's pretty awesome, right? Which brings us to the big question. How do you set this thing up? Well, if you're using Facebook, it's actually pretty easy. Let me explain how it goes. 
You log into your Facebook account and then go to the ads manager at facebook.com slash ads slash manage. Over on the left-hand navigation page, click on Audiences, and then click on the blue Create a Custom Audience button. Now you'll have a window pop-up that will give you three options. One option is to match your customer's email address, phone numbers, or mobile advertiser IDs to their Facebook profiles. Another option is to show your ad to people who've engaged with your Facebook apps or games. Still another option is to create a list of people who have already visited your website or who viewed specific pages on your site. This is the option that you want to choose. This is the one that allows you to show targeted ads based on your audience's interests. At this point, just follow the prompts and instructions. Facebook will create a custom remarketing pixel for you to load onto your website. You can even create different pixels for different pages of your website. And this feature lets you show the most targeted ads possible to your audience. So that's one very powerful way to retarget or remarket to an audience that's already visiting your website. Just be sure to track and tweak your remarketing ad campaigns so that you can get the best return on your investment. Another way to use retargeting is through the use of email. The idea here is to send your existing subscribers to other related offers on your site. In other words, you can get your audience into multiple sales funnels. Let me give you an example. Suppose you have a general weight loss mailing list. You can then set up a series of related funnels and retarget your subscribers by sending them to these other related opt-in pages. For example, you might set up an opt-in page leading to a sales funnel centered on bodybuilding as it applies to weight loss. You might set up another opt-in page in sales funnel centered on nutrition. You might set up still another one that deals with weight loss supplements. In all cases, you send your existing subscribers to an opt-in page that's offering a valuable lead magnet product for free, which is about some specific topic as mentioned just a moment ago. Your funnel will then promote the products and services that are closely related to the topic. So in the case of the bodybuilding funnel, you might sell bodybuilding books, videos, and software, as well as physical products such as weightlifting gloves, weight benches, bodybuilding supplements, and more. All right, that's one way to do it. Another way to do it is to send your existing subscribers to specific products. So instead of sending them to a free offer, you may send them to a low-cost entry product. Using the example mentioned previously, you'd send out your subscribers to three offers, a bodybuilding product, a nutrition product, and a supplement product. All right, whether you send your prospects to a free offer or a paid offer, the bottom line is that you'll add these customers to a new list. So now you have them on two lists. One is your original weight loss list, and the other is related to the offer they just took advantage of or joined. Then you can send these prospects ultra-targeted offers since you know what they're interested in. And the end result of this is that you get a nice bump to your conversion rate. And you've got your competitors huffing and puffing because they're totally eating your dust. It feels good, right? So that's how you retarget your mailing lists. By sending existing subscribers to different offers and getting them to join your other mailing lists. You can use your email service provider's email rules to add or remove people from specific mailing lists. For example, if you have a general prospect list, the moment someone buys something, you might put them on the customer list and remove them from the prospect list. In other cases, you may keep your subscribers on multiple mailing lists. An example is the one mentioned previously where you keep a person on both a general mailing list as well as a more topic-specific list. So there you have it. You just learned how retargeting or remarketing works on both Facebook as well as with your mailing list. Retargeting, along with reaching out across multiple channels, is going to help you optimize your traffic and get a higher conversion rate. And that means you slide a bigger chunk of cash into your pocket. Just be sure you don't tell your friends about your windfall or they're going to start making you buy whenever you go out. Okay? Trust me on that. In the next video, you'll learn how to rent space in your prospects' heads. I'll see you there.